Well, hi. Um, no points for guessing that I'm walking along basically a little pathway. Um, I don't know, this is only like a short distance from where I live, but um, this is out because like where I live is on the side of a town where half of it's like housing estate and the other half is like fields. And so I'm just kind of walking through the fieldy, well, tree fieldy countryside bit at the moment. Um, I think this is going to, yeah, because I've never been down here before and I think this is going to hook up with somewhere else that I went the other day and there was like a private property sign that I'd never seen before and it looked like I'd just walked into hillbilly land. Anyway, um, today's blog isn't going to be the most exciting thing ever because really there isn't much to put in. Uh, you know when you have like one of those low days where you're just like, pfft, just miserable and depressed? Uh, kind of having one of them. Uh, I've been editing my ass off, working and working and working, and um, that's about it. There's a gate. That makes me think there's some sort of form of life around here. Probably horses. I don't particularly want to get trampled by horses. Let's see what's up here. Okay, this would appear to be a golf club, but um, there's a gate here. Let's see if I can walk across the golf club. <laughs> Checking for private property signs. Public footpath this way. Well, then I'll have to assume that this is public as well. We can go down there and go up here. Let's go up. This is all like genuinely really weird. I've actually never been here before. I've actually never been on this golf club before. This is the one where Michael stole golf balls from. And um, where are we? Hole 16. I presume that means hole 16. Hmm, I've just got a text message. Let's see who that's from. Oh, it's from Lauren Gould. Read now. You can ring if you want. I think I shall. I'm going to head home and ring her because there's nothing to do out here except for around a golf club. Anyway, now I'm heading back. Um, yeah, Lauren's been out with some guy called Richard today. I uh, don't know, old friend of hers or something. And um, so if she hasn't filmed anything, you're stuck with my boring ass. But hopefully she has. Um, hopefully for you. Country, country, countryside. Very, very blurry countryside. Ah, oh, this lens needs cleaning big time. As you can hear, there's a bit of rain and thunder up there. Not the nicest weather. Anyway, I did actually want to say thank you today to um, one of the people we're subscribed to, subscribed to us, Alt Tree, called Universe Gort. That's Gort, G-O-R-T, all one word. Thank you to them for not only putting us as their... Oh, there's a fox just went by. Hello, fox. Anyway, thank you to them for not only making us um, their channel, featured channel, or actually him for making us their featured channel, his featured channel, shh, but also for taking my suggestion of he said he was going to the cinema, and I don't know if he took my suggestion or he just happened to do the same thing because it was all very tight time-wise, but he took his phone camera into the cinema to film them wait and see the new Harry Potter film because um, you can't take a big old camera like this. I should have taken my own advice several times, but I haven't. Nice. No, it's a van. Anyway, now I'm going home to talk to Lauren on the phone. And hopefully that'll cheer me up because otherwise I'm just going to feel like crap. Um, hopefully they did something exciting in Blue Water that's going to make me feel better. Otherwise, I'm just going home and editing. Sorry, no offence to you guys. And I'm editing it all for you because you're great. But it's become a bit stressful since I've had a lot of other stuff on my plate at the moment, but <laughs> no more miserable shit. Speak to you in a bit.